should I duplicate the table or reference the table? Pretty common beginner's confusion. In this video, I'll explain you the concept of referencing a table and duplicating a table. We'll also implement it in Power BI and have a look at it. And finally, we'll try to understand when should we reference a table and duplicate a table. My name is Vinayak Panchaman and welcome to Data Delimited. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe. I'll be putting up two videos every week sharing my knowledge on data analysis and Power BI. Now let's begin. So if you see here, we have a fact sales table. To reference it, just click on this, right click on this and hit on reference. That's gonna reference the table. I'll again go back and right click on this and hit on duplicate. That's gonna duplicate this table. So let me rename this first. I'll rename this to fact sales underscore reference the other one to fact sales underscore duplicate now let me explain you the concept the fact sales table over here is a parent table or we call it as a base table so you can reference and duplicate this table you can imagine it as a child table okay so what happens here is if you reference a table from a base table in this case the fact sales reference table any changes you make to the base table would get affected to the reference table which is a child referenced table for example if you delete a column add a column or you make some uh, new calculated columns with within power query or some conditional columns in power query all those kind of transformations would get affected or will be added or deleted the same way in the base table to the referenced table as well but it doesn't happen vice versa which means if you make any changes after referencing if you make any changes in the reference fact sales table that won't get affected in the base table because it's a parent table it's a base table okay so the now the duplicate table duplicate table is again similar to reference table but it's it acts as a two different entity which means after duplicating a table any changes you make in the base table will not get affected on the duplicated table so vice versa you make any changes on the duplicate table it doesn't get affected in the base table okay that's a simple concept of it now let's try to understand how it works in power bi so if you look at sales table and we have facts we have fact sales reference and fact sales duplicates let's go to the fact sales reference so we have only one step over here, which means the source. Okay, if we click on the advanced editor, this is completely pointing to the fact sales table, which is our base table. So if we go back to the fact sales table, and for example, let's delete this year column over here. I'm just removing this column. Now, if you look at the reference table, it shouldn't show up there. So let's move this one. Let's move this. To the last and you see here it's it, that particular column is not there in the reference table so if i delete the month in the reference table i'm just deleting the month column from here and if i go back to fact sales that particular column will be here which means anything you change in the reference table will not get affected on the sales table on the fact sales base table or the parent table but whatever changes we make in the fact sales table which is our base or a parent table will get affected in the referenced table now let's look at the duplicate table so we deleted uh, we removed a column right which is a year column so if you go to the duplicate table you can see that the year column is still there okay any changes we may make over here for example i'm removing the uh, month column from this particular duplicate table if i go back to sales table it is still there over here and anything we change in the sales table also will not get affected on the duplicate table which means it's unlinked uncoupled as soon as we duplicate that particular table which means we had already applied these steps right i'm just deleting the recent step which i added so this all the steps were already applied from that instance okay this duplicate table is a completely different entity or from that particular point 
after doing some transformations if you duplicate a table from that point it's a completely different entity it's act it acts as a completely different table than the base table whereas the reference table you reference it from any point any changes later to that particular added step if you are adding up another step over here that also will be affected to the reference table that's the only difference so when do we use a duplicate or referencing a table one of the classic example is that if you have a single big fat table with lot of columns what we do is we normalize that particular table which means we split the table the fact table to dimension and fact tables and connect it with the keys so that it performs better that's what is needed for power bi to perform better we are trying to build a star star or a snowflake schema over there let's take an example so we have the customer name and customer type over here we don't need a customer type over here as such if we have a customer name and customer type in a different table without any repetition for example if i duplicate this one we have this duplicate table over here right so i just click on this customer name and customer type and remove other columns so now what i'll do is i'll remove the duplicates from here from the customer name so i removed it so i only have 50 customers right now right so what i can do is i can go back to fact sales and remove the customer type from here and if i close and apply this so I have my duplicate table over here and uh, my customer type and customer name and I can connect this with the customer name over here. Okay, now this is a classic dimension and fact table. So what we have done is we have reduced one of the column in the fact table and making it as a and we are making a scheme out of it. So which is not possible when we do a referencing. Why? Because as soon as I do this, if I create a dimension table over here with the customer name and customer type, then if I delete that particular customer type from my fact sales table, the fact uh, even in the reference, it won't be there, right? So if you look here, we don't have the customer type in this particular table. Why? Because we have deleted it from the fact sales, which is our base table. But the advantage of referencing is if you are not deleting anything, if you're sure that you're not deleting anything, and if you want to uh, create a summarized table or something like that, you don't have to go through all the steps over here, right? So that is very optimized way of doing something. If you are pretty clear about you're not going to change anything, only you are uh, doing some more transformations over here in this reference table, then go ahead and put a reference table always okay so because it reduces the number of steps because if we, if we come back to the duplicate the same steps are running here and the same again on the main base table so it's a load on power bi for this kind of data set it's okay but if you think about a millions and billions of rows then it will impact the performance if you are duplicating again and again but in those cases it's always better to reference the tables and then do the transformation and work with that so these are the two examples one is like if you want to build a dimension table with the fact table it's always better to duplicate it and if you are uh, if you want to keep the raw data as it is and run transformation in a separate table then go ahead and reference it so that you don't have the previously applied steps in the newly referenced table so these are the two examples and i also use it like if i want to uh, have something like um, if I have four tables in one Excel sheet or one schema, then what I do is I just go ahead and duplicate this and uh, go to my source. And right now we have used this unleashed data table. If I want to get a regions table, I just click on this table and I'll continue with it. So it's, and I'll rename this to dim underscore regions. So I don't have, I avoid some steps of getting um, clicking on the new source connecting it connecting it to the data uh, you know the data set and all those hassles over here with two clicks i can just go ahead and change my uh, data source over here so that's about it hope you learned something please do like the video and click on the bell icon see you in the next one